Hey guys, let's do an intro summon. No lightning. As usual. Come on, something good. Food for terrain. What's up my lovely Bombarinas and Bombarinos? Today we are going to continue our top 10, 2 and 3 stars. And today is, is going to be the fire day. So let's get right into it. So number 10 on the list is Adrian, the fire elven ranger. Let's take a look at his skills. Path of the forest increases the attack speed and critical rate of all allies for 3 turns. The second skill, Arrow Storm, attacks 4 random targets. Each attack has a 50% chance to deal continuous damage for 1 turn. And his default attack, Strafe, rapidly fires 2 shots and may fire an additional shot by chance. The chance of firing an additional shot is equivalent to your critical rate. Each attack has a 30% chance to disturb the enemy's HP recovery by 1 turn. Okay, this guy is a great Dota. He's good for dungeons and especially good for necro because he has multi hits and is a buffer he's buffing attack speed and critical rate i think yeah um, how would you rule this guy i think violent revenge is the best build on tots on slot <laughs> on slot 2 go speed for sure on slot 4 i would go crit damage or crit rate and for slot 6 i would recommend attack hp or accuracy depends on what role he's gonna play in your team number nine is rebecca the fire mystic witch leader skill increases the accuracy of ally monsters in the arena by 26 percent nothing special the third skill spell of removal removes harmful effects of all allies and recovers the hp by 15 percent the recovery amount increases by two percent for each removed harmful effect second skill Jealousy attacks all enemies with the power of jealousy and weakens the defense for two turns with a 50% chance. This the effect is activated with a 100% chance if the enemy has beneficial effects. The first skill is crow summoning summons a crow to attack the enemy and inflict continuous damage for one turn with a 50% chance. She's a good cleanser, especially uh, for beginners, and has uh, a good heal if you have a lot of debuffs like in uh, dragons or. Uh, in raids, uh, she has an AOE defense break, so you can use her in arena, kind of. And she does dots on first scale, which is nice in dungeons. I would recommend going violent anything and going speed, HP, accuracy, or speed, HP, HP. Number eight is Kali, the fire high elemental. Her leader skill increases the critical rate of ally monsters with fire attribute by 23%. The third skill is God of Fire, increases the attack power and attack speed of all allies for two turns and becomes invincible for one turn. Her second skill, Tectonic Shift, it's what makes her so good, strikes an enemy with an attack strong enough to split the earth, ignores the enemy's defense to inflict significant damage. And the first skill brings uh, three turn dots with a 20% chance. Um, Kali is a great nuka, especially for beginners. She's a buffer, attack speed and attack, uh, uh, attack power buffer. She has a critical rate leader skill. Um, she is uh, mostly uh, used in PvP, but you can use her as uh, in PvE and in some TA uh, floors for wind bosses or something like this. And she's farmable and easy to skill up. And I would recommend going fatal or rage with um, blade offset or anything else that gives you uh, enough crit rate and crit damage and go attack crit damage attack to maximize the damage of tectonic shift. Number 7 on my list is Randy. His leader skill is the attack speed of ally monsters is increased by 16% in guild battles which is nice. Um, speed leader is always good. This buff, uh, ready to snipe, increases critical rate and defense for, of all allies for 3 turns. This chain fire attacks the enemy with 2 errors and attacks again with a 30% chance. This can stack up, so 
if you get the additional attack, you can get another additional attack by 30%, which is nice. Bolt's Eye shots two precise shots and uh, that are aimed for the enemy's weak points. Each hit has a 25% chance to ignore the enemy's defense. This skill can do a lot of damage. Um, Randy is an overall good monster. You can use him uh, as your farmer. You can use him in dungeons for the defense buff and critical rate buff. Uh, he, do he can perform some miracles. He has a lot of RNG involved, but it can be really funny. He has good synergy with Copper or Bulldozer, and I would recommend going Violent Revenge because Revenge procs with Bullseye, you have the chance to ignore defense. It can be a lot of damage, so I would recommend go Violent Revenge, uh, Speed or Attack on slot two, Crit Damage on four, and Attack on slot. Six. Number 6 is Cayenne, he has a leader skill, increases the HP of allied monsters and dungeons by 18%. This is nothing special but if you don't have Veramos, you can use him as a leader in dungeons. His third skill, Cry of Challenge, increases your defense for 3 turns and taunts all enemies with an 80% chance. If you skill this up, this gets to 100% and it deals no damage so it cannot glance. So this is really good. Second skill slash waves attacks an enemy with a sword two times. Each attack has a 30% chance to decrease the target's attack power for two turns. Attack break and the armor break on the first skill and it scales with HP. Um, he's a really good overall tank, uh, good CC monster, can uh, help you uh, in clutch situations and TOA or even in uh, arena or guild wars. I used to use this monster, he's really good, but when I got my Wind Monkey King, I fed him because I wanted my Wind Monkey King to be 6 star really fast and I had no patience, but I will build another one because I like him really much. Uh, the first skill is a defense break, which is good, uh, he's useful in PvP and PvE, I, th I, th I think in some situations he's even better than Darien. Because the damage reduction from Darien is nice, but sometimes it's better to have um, a provoke on the enemy monsters, especially in TOA, and he gets a defense buff, which is nice, so he can sustain a lot more. Um, he's farmable, he has a uh, secret dungeon, and easy to skill up because he has some 2 star brothers. Uh, I would recommend violent energy or violent revenge. Or full energy even go speed or HP on slot 2 HP or crit damage on slot uh, 4 and HP or accuracy on slot 6 just decide if you want a speedy attacker speedy tank do you want a CC monster for dungeons or do you want uh, the HP crit damage HP like the tank with bite this it's your choice guys number 5 is C the fire hellhound begin hunt increases the attack power and critical rate of all allies for three turns double attack bites your enemy continuously to inflict great damage and bite bite your enemy and recover 30 percent of the inflicted damages hp you get this guy when you start off the game and you can get him later on really easy he's an overall good monster especially for beginners um, he does good damage because he has a lot of base attack he has a good buff, which is uh, nearly continuous, I mean 3 turn cooldown and it's, it's really good, you will nearly have the buff uh, all time up. He has low cooldowns like I said, he's usable in PvE and in PvP, especially for Wombo combo settings, if you don't have another uh, attack power and crit rate buffer. He's easy to skill up and easy to get of course, I would recommend go Swift or Rage or Fatal. Whether you want him in a wombo combo kind of setting and need speed, then go swift. If you want him to do a lot of damage, go uh, rage or fatal. And blade offset, I would recommend, or even revenge if you want to go for the vampire effect. Um, rune him speed crit damage attack or attack crit damage attack, whatever suits you the best. And whatever the subsets of your runes are, if you have a lot of speed subsets, go ahead, go attack crit damage attack. If you don't have a lot of speed subsets, you can go speed damage attack. Number 4 on my list is Rakuni, the Fireheart. 
Little Hummingbird, it's a passive, removes up to two harmful effects of the ally with the lowest HP and heals 10% of the ally's HP each turn. Rabbit's ag Agility, fills up an ally's attack bar to the max and increases the target's attack speed for two turns. It's like Konamaya's Research, but it gives attack speed instead of attack power. And the first skill Breeze attacks the target and increases the attack bar of all sorry of the ally with the lowest attack bar by 50% which is really nice uh, he's a good monster for dungeons he has great synergy with uh, attack bar manipulators like Hua or Red Heal, which is really great so you can use him in dragons to get a lot more turns or even in TOA he has a passive heal it's not much and it's single target but better than nothing and yeah I think especially for newer players or people who want to progress in the game I think the fireheart can help you out in a lot of situations every monster that gives you more turns is good for you so I would recommend go swift or violent violent sorry um, and revenge offset because the first skill gives the lows um, the, the, the target with the lowest attack bar 50% of the attack bar back which is good so if you revenge you can get a lot of turns and I would say go speed HP HP get as much speed as, pos as possible and get him to like uh, 18k or 20k HP I think that's enough then you can use him nearly everywhere even in uh, GUA higher floors or up to 100 I think he will survive the uh, damage output of the monsters so yeah that's my number four number three on my list of course rogue the fire inugami everybody loves him he's really great a lot of people built him first most of the people had make made him the uh, six star first because he's a great fodder farmer but first let's uh, look at his skills his passive um, get an extra turn if you kill the enemy which is really good for a fodder farmer Team up, teams up with another ally to attack an enemy. Take note, if you use this skill, the ally which is chosen will get his um, cooldowns reduced by one turn, which is nice. And attacks with giant claws to weaken the enemy's defense with a 50% chance and attacks con consecutively with a 30% chance. Oh my god, I'm talking too much. <laughs> yeah, defense break on the first skill and he can attack on top of that so he can perform a lot of miracles yeah um, he's an overall solid monster I think for beginners even for late game players a lot of people love him he's easy to get he's farmable and easy to skill up because you can farm nearly all of his brothers um, like I said he can perform really really good I know he has some RNG involved but he's really solid I would uh, recommend building him He's good for PvE and PvP and he's a really good farmer, he can even farm farm in hell if you have good runes so it's not a farm in hell farmer for beginners but later on you can use him as a farm in hell farmer if you don't have other op options. I think the must have uh, sets for him is violent revenge, you can go rage or fatal or blade but I think violent revenge will be the best choice. Go attack crit damage attack or speed crit damage attack if you want him a uh, fireman hell farmer but else go attack crit damage attack and let's just let him do his things he's really great guys number two is colleen the fire harpy fairy dance recovers the hp of all allies by 25 percent and increases their attack power for three turns deadly dart throws a sharp uh, throws sharp feathers to attack the enemy and prevents them from recovering their HP for two turns and blackout kick performs a ruthless combo kicking the enemy two times each attack has a 50% chance to decreasing of decreasing the enemy's attack power for two turns yeah why is she so high in my rank because she's easy to get and easy to skill up she's uh, great for raids people love her in raids she's good in necro uh, she can be used in PvE and PvP as a healer. I saw a lot of people uh, putting her in their guild war defense. I don't know why exactly. I think there are better healers out there for PvP, but people seem to love her. 
she's a great debuffer she has some she has the heal recovery debuff and the attack break which is nice and I would say go violent anything speed HP HP or speed HP accuracy if you have enough uh, HP yeah I think there's not much to say about this she's just great uh, you won't regret uh, six starring here number one of course spectra the fire griffin this guy is insane but let's have a look at his skills backslash sends out the gust of wind that has a 50% chance to decrease the attack bar of all enemies by 30% and decreases the attack speed for two turns special assault inflicts damage proportional to the enemy's max hp and consumes 10% of your hp and the normal snatch skill which doesn't do anything special this guy 126 base speed i think it's the highest base speed in the game he's really great for dungeons guys the third skill cannot glance so if you have if you have enough accuracy don't be afraid of glancing the enemy he's a great debuffer and deals a lot of damage the second skill in dungeons can hit up to 60k on toa hard bosses uh, he can be used in pve and pvp i've seen some people using him with bernard and verdehill so you can lock down enemies or put in a verimos it will stun you will get a lot of turns he's really great guys um, he has a secret dungeon so he's farmable he's easy to skill up because you can get bernard from the time Tem desert i think I would say go swift anything guys speed uh, crit damage attack or speed HP HP or speed HP accuracy or speed crit damage attack you just have to fulfill some uh, certain stat requirements for him <coughs> I think at least get him to 200 speed um, get some crit damage I think at least more than 100% you need some crit rate on him at least 50% which is not the the crit damage and the crit rate are not the important stats I think most important guys is the speed accuracy at least 80% I would recommend go 100% and uh, give him some HP so he can survive uh, at least one hit like 15k I think is enough but if you want to use him in dragons sometimes they can be trouble so as much speed, accuracy and HP as possible and after that focus on some crit rate and crit damage for the second skill so you can use them effectively in 2A hard.